Now let's focus on the attempt by the Ghana Revenue Authority to block uh, the leakages at its revenue point and uh, inadequate personnel and logistics uh, support are hampering the work of the Customs Division of the Ghana Revenue Authority at the country's second busiest and land border at Alubo in the western region. That's according to the officer in charge of general duties uh, at the uh, point that CRO Dan Menia has been speaking to my colleague Mark Solagba about their efforts to address the issues and they've been investing some unapproved entry points. Mark Solagba joins us live from Elubo. Um, into Ghana. One other thing that caught my attention though is the heavily polluted um, river tunnel. And you can see that in the background right now. That is not our focus um, for today. We want to find out from um, the Customs Division of the Ghana Revenue Authority how they man um, this place to ensure that the unscrupulous people do not get you know, access to Ghana with some of their smuggled goods. To help me do this is Assistant Revenue um, Officer at the Ilubo um, Collection, ARO Fifi Blankson. Fifi, you're welcome to join us. Thank you very much. Great. So these are your men. So we have immigration officers and then customs Custom. division, Definitely. you know, the GRA. Right. What, what, is, what is their job here? Well, their job here is to man this uh, unapproved route to ensure that um, people do not ferry goods in and out of the country. Okay. They are supposed to use the um, approved, the approved route, which is the main border. Yeah. And uh, for one reason or the other, you realize that these people come in through some of these, and this is one of the numerous unapproved rules that we have along the stretch. Mm. And you see, because it is a river that divides the two countries, yeah. it, is, it is very easy mm. to you know, set up another unapproved route. Yeah. And so once we begin to man a particular route that we identify, yeah. the next thing you, you see is another one being, being, being created. Wow. Yes. That is the nature and that is the terrain we find ourselves, we find ourselves here. These are, there are several of them. And you will see um, canoes being used to ferry goods yeah. and people across, 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 across like that. I was here alone last night. I was at the other side. I was at the other side. But it was actually, you know, um, very difficult yeah. using the side because it was extremely dark, yes. poorly lit. Yes. Um, and your personnel are supposed to be here. So yes. they sit here yes. all the time. Yes. We, Day, night, we, man, yeah. we man this place 24 hours. Okay. As you can see, we even have some tent here. This, mm. this, one, got, uh, this one was collapsed. Yeah. Yes, this one was collapsed as a result of, of, of the rain. And we have a, yeah. this temporary one that we are using. You know, um, so <laughs> we man here 24 7. Yeah. So these people, by 6 p.m., mm -hmm. they, will, they, will, they will close in another shift. Okay. will come and take over mm. right okay. and that chef will come and take over from 6 p.m okay and this yes. is this is the tent that you normally use yes this is where the the officers sit at night at night okay yes this is where they sit at night mm. to make sure that uh, people do not come in and goose do not come in mm. through these routes okay yes so what kind of, what kind of <coughs> goods do people smuggle uh, in? but what happens in the stands it, it, it collapses as a result of the rain Okay. Yes, this this one was uh, presented by the military. Okay. It was it was given to us by the military, but as you can see, it is it is it is collapsed. Mm. Yes. So you sleep there at night. Yes. Yes. Wow. What what kind of goods do people try to? Yeah, basically, um, people country? bring in rice, rice okay. and oil. Okay. Rice, oil. Sometimes you get uh, frozen frozen fish. Mm. Yeah, but basically, it is rice and oil that people bring in the most. Mm. Yes, and uh, and I'm told that is because it's cheaper. Very, in very coast. definitely. So it's, when it's they bring cheaper, it to Ghana, yes, and they sell it, they make a lot of. They profits. make a lot of a lot of money. Okay. Than buying it from from Ghana. Okay. Yes, mm. yes. So how difficult is it stopping them? How difficult is it? Stopping them? Yeah. You, <laughs> it, it is it is it is, it is a, a, a Herculean task, okay. I must say, but. Um, we are trained for, for this task. Mm. And so, yes, in as much as we have these challenges, we try as much as possible to make do with the little resources that we have. 
And that is my colleague Mark Solabba live from an unapproved route at Elubo in the Western region. And the GRA has issued a statement acknowledging John News's efforts in addressing this issue. Our latest hotline documentary, Smugglers Paradise, details how uh, gallons of oil are smuggled through all these unapproved routes. Uh, it, the authority says it is investigating uh, the matter and will bring uh, listeners and the general public up to speed.